Energy Association is the member organization for the geothermal companies um, that are working on geothermal development in the U.S. and abroad as well. Um, the GEA puts out an annual report on what's going on in the U.S. industry, what states and what companies are involved in geothermal development, and um, really just keeping track of the market and how it's spreading. Um, and we've had increased um, activity with our companies in exports and in working abroad as well, so we've, we're becoming more involved in really international markets and um, just educating people on what's out there for geothermal and that it's a, a very strong market um, is, be, is becoming more and more, more and more so. Geothermal energy is the heat of the earth, um, which is available constantly 24-7. It's a base load resource and um, our companies are able to tap into that. Um, we have over 3,000 megawatts that's online today in the United States and just continuing to um, explore different technologies and build on that. Today we're here to talk to um, members of Congress if they come through, staff, um, the public, really anyone just who wants to be a voice for our companies here and a voice for what's going on in the market. We have a lot of educational materials on the benefits of geothermal um, and we just want to help people to know about it. It's really a big problem right now for geothermal is that people just still don't know about it, although it's been in the U.S. for over 50 years. One, one big problem for geothermal is just the upfront costs, and so policies can help to take away that risk for companies, help them so that they can um, explore the technologies that are then going to uh, make the technologies that they already have more efficient. So um, policies can help to do that and to just give companies a little bit more of certainty to know that, all right, I can get this um, tax credit or, or whatever it is, um, and, I, and I know that, I'm, that my company has a little bit more stability for the future.